What if I told you Octobrush has the potential to destroy every weapon out there? I'm sure you've had your butt kicked by this thing numerous times, so I don't need to convince you. This weapon no doubt has the potential to completely dominate and help you climb up the ranks. And you're cool to be interested in it. I'm Hammer, an Octobrush specialist who has solely played this weapon for five years straight. Over the course of the ever shifting meta, I have always maintained high placement with Octobrush despite a lot of weaknesses the weapon possesses. Here are two things you should know before you pick it up. Firstly, I must start off with its lack of aim requirement. Octobrush is an AoE or environmental weapon, meaning it affects a wide area on the ground in a swipey motion that this class is unique for. This means that it has multi-kill potential against opponents who stand too close together. As a weapon with shorter range, your opponents will be outranging you a lot, which is why you should take advantage of the best thing this weapon has, crazy mobility. While not as fast as the Inkbrush, Octobrush is in turn the more powerful brush and can run in and out of fights in a breeze still. With the ability to engage and disengage with opponents quickly, this weapon has a high staying alive potential and thus gets its special faster and frustrating your enemies more. The best secret to stay alive is to to make the most of your movements by dodging, twisting, turning, and being unpredictable. No need to commit to an enemy when he can hit you from 100 feet away. He can make life harder for those who must have perfect aim to kill you. Secondly, one of the biggest weaknesses of Octobrushes is the fact that it is easily outranged by 80% of the weapons in the game, meaning that when just painting the map, you are an easy target for everyone. One of the ways you can counter this weakness is by using an ability called Ninja Squid. This ability hides your movements, swimming in the ink, and allows for sneak attacks and hiding you when retreating from a fight. Since you'll need to approach enemies in order to secure kills, this ability can make sneaking up to them easier and avoid being trapped. Octobrush is also considered shorter range and where you position yourself regardless of your abilities determines whether you are a hindrance to your team or not. You'll want to avoid being in the very front since you are an easy target. Maintaining mid control of the map is best. Octobrush punishes those who move in by themselves or move too close together. The way the weapon paints also means that you can swim up to walls or ledges and kill opponents when you're too close to the edge and deny area control. Through hiding in the ink and rolling away when a situation looks bad, don't forget that the weapon paints decently and you'll need good map control in order to have the best position. Positioning. Lastly, Octobrush is a slayer weapon with kill potential to wipe entire enemy teams for bad positioning, bad aim, and bad awareness. Since you don't need a strong aim to play this weapon, you can be an annoyance to opponents and be the best teammate ever. It paints well, and the faster you spam ZR, the quicker your shots will come out. This may tire your finger at first, but it'll all be muscle memory soon enough. Octobrush will also reward you when you take on fights and good map control, up against walls or ledges and sinking it up to enemies, your flanks with the ability to disengage when needed. This means Splatling and Chargers have a hard time hitting you even from a safe distance, but never in engage with spotlings unless you are behind them, they almost always win the fight. And if you don't have the best aim and love terrorizing the enemy, this is the weapon for you. I want to give a huge thanks to Squidman for giving me an opportunity to talk about Octobrush and the amazing potential it has to dominate the higher ranks. You can check out more Octobrush shenanigans on my Twitch and Twitter, where all I do is convince you through fun clips to pick up this weapon using Octobrush propaganda. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I hope to see you fellow brush players in Splatoon 3.